Hi, I'm Tony Stefani with Hillside Christmas Tree Farm. This was a video request that someone in the Facebook group had of a kind of what age to prune scotch pine and kind of techniques for developing tree structure and kind of the little guys. So here it is. Um, this is the first time I'll be touching the scotch in, in our field. And I think we plant two twos and this might be the third or fourth year that they're here. So now it's kind of, kind of time to walk through and kind of start giving them the shape that they need. So again, timing of the year, the needles are half the length of their full length. So when they're about an inch and a half, inch, inch and a half, it's time to prune them. Um, so we'll just kind of go through together in a couple. Tools that you'll need, either some hand shears, hand clippers, I guess, and then hand shears. With a knife, use the trees too wobbly and the, the whole thing will move around on you. So it's just easier to use something a little smaller and it's gonna, Take quick work anyway so let's uh do a couple all right really getting into it so we planted two o's we would say that the first year is from here to here first year at our farm would be from here to here so one two and this is the third year on our farm um tree has good shape nothing no problems the with pine again the buds form at the ends of the cuts so you gotta kind of shape a little bit. So we'll just kind of nip through here. Take some off. We'll take a little bit off the top. And that'll do it. So now the new buds will form, new crown, and it'll fill in. This side's a little empty um, in time you know scotch are a pretty hardy tree so it'll fill in just give it some time yeah this tree's a little bit bigger so we have multiple leaders so we want to cut those make one the leader see that That'll do it. Maybe we'll come back with a taper. We'll bring him a little straight, but again, Scotch, you know, maybe next year we'll pick this guy to be the leader and we'll kind of bring the tree back this way and, you know, get it straight over time. Tree number three, what I don't like to do is leave uh, the tree to decide kind of uh, which, what, what, what branch is the leader. Next year, these are pretty close together um, good rule of thumb I leave is like two thirds. So I'll cut him down and I want the leader to be two thirds longer than the next compete, competing, competing leader. As far as uh, length on this one, I think this is good. We'll get a nice cluster here and a nice cluster here. That'll fill in nicely, so no need to cut this leader. Again, for sure, we need to pick something here to be in charge. Otherwise, it's just gonna be next uh, big cluster next year. So we'll just pick one and we'll do this one with hand shears. And that'll do it. All right, this one's got some, a uh, little bit of wide. Got stuff kind of growing out pretty far, so we'll bring him back in. And again, you know, you can cut pretty far into the new growth because those buds will develop at the end of the cut. So don't be afraid to do that if you feel that there's something that needs to get corrected. So 
Another thing is just make sure your shears are sharp. You want a nice, clean, crisp cut. So that was our video on a shearing or pruning small scotch pine for the first time. Um, hope you like it. Again, it was a special request from someone in a Facebook group. And if there are any other things that you know you guys want to know, feel free to leave a comment or reach out to me. Um, anything I can do, I can uh, create a video or answer. I'll be happy to share. Thanks for watching. Hey, thanks for watching and for your support. If you like this video, then check out these other great videos we've created for you. Please be sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any future content. Again, this is Tony Stefani with Hillside Christmas Tree Farm, and talk to you soon.